Although you can never guarantee at all the safety and efficacy of a vaccine until you actually test it in the field, we feel cautiously optimistic based on the concerted... Dr. Anthony Fauci expressing some more optimism at a hearing on Capitol Hill this morning about the prospects of a coronavirus vaccine. He says the amount of funding that's going toward one has him hopeful for a vaccine by the end of this year or early 2021. Now that comes as cases across the country continue to go up. ABC's Andrew Dimbert has more. Ready to rally, President Trump is heading to Arizona for a campaign address at a mega church, while coronavirus cases in that state continue to climb. I'm not worried about it, no, not at all. We watch it, we're very careful. But Arizona quickly becoming a COVID-19 hotspot in the country. 84% of the ICU beds there now occupied by COVID patients. From Tucson to Yuma, hospitalizations hitting alarming highs. We are having a situation where we don't have enough nursing staff. With the widening spread of the virus, around the country, 26 states are reporting a rise. Some states' governors and President Trump suggesting the cause of the spread is due to more testing. I don't kid. Let me just tell you. Let me make it clear. We have got the greatest testing program anywhere in the world. We test better than anybody in the world. By having more tests, we find more cases. However, health officials say the primary driver of the increase is more people becoming infected with COVID-19. We are doing more testing, and that's part of the reason, but much of it is because we just have more infections. Meanwhile, back in the nation's capital, Dr. Anthony Fauci, the nation's leading infectious disease expert, and CDC Director Robert Redfield are testifying on Capitol Hill about the U.S. response to the pandemic. Get your arms around and understand exactly what's going on in community spread. So it's the opposite. We're going to be doing more testing, not less. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, Washington.